Hello, cats and kittens. On here again. Uh, sorry I've been a little light on the updates lately, but life's been a little crazy. Uh, on the bright side, this is going to be my uh, 100th upload to the YouTubes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a little milestone there. Anyway, let's uh, roll this truck and convoy across the USA. If I can get my emulator started back up. There we go. Uh, I missed a couple things uh, last time I was down here in the ruins, so I'm just going to get that taken care of real quick. A couple of items that I completely walked right past, and that I'm sure I shall be needing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I believe I need to go in a generally leftward direction. And up. Oh, that's where I came from. Oh, that's right, I need to go up the middle here. And that treasure box is what I'll be needing, so I just gotta work my way around to it. And my equipment is so bad. I'll be much relieved when I'm able to pick up some better uh, weapons and armor and such. And I get the Ancient Slate. I don't remember what that's for, but I'm sure it's necessary. I think it might be a translation thing to decode some of what I find, uh, you know, in the divine areas when I go to take the books back. Ugh. And the other thing I need is right around where I found the Wand of Holy World, if I remember. Let's recover a little bit here. And love that Falcom Synth guitar. Ah, this is the place. Hey, the Rota Tree Nut. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, this is an MP recovery. And if I use it, I can come back here and get another, which is nice. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? Okay. What I'm gonna do is, uh... Ah, screw it. Let's go for broke. I'm gonna go over here and, uh, talk to this dude and get into the dungeon. And he'll open the door for me. That's kind of him. Now, this is the mine that they were talking about in town. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. This is a divine area. And I love the music for these. see what's going on in here. A door locked with an immense force. That won't do. Uh, let's see, do I need to... Okay, no, I can't do that yet. Ow. Okay, this part of the game I don't remember especially well, so I'm flying a little bit blind at the moment. I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. And this is apparently a boss door that I can't do yet. Okay, this is the mine. Now, this mine doesn't have the limited visibility issue of the one back in East 1, so it's got that going for it. But, on the downside, it's basically a door maze. And if you watched Exile, you know how much I love door mazes. Okay. And while I'm down here, I need to find, uh, you know, what's his name? Uh, yes, the estimable Dr. Flair. Try and rescue him. Another divine area. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This could get really bad. In a oh shit! Yeah, this is definitely not gonna look good anytime soon. Oh, 
Oh, door maze. I don't like a door maze. And it doesn't help that I don't really remember what I'm supposed to be doing at this point. And my equipment is terrible, so I die with incredible ease. And it takes me, oh, what seems like an hour to kill basically anything. On the bright side, I just found a treasure box. And a monster that I can barely hurt at all. So uh, let's just kind of work around him. The pickaxe. I'm sure I'll be needing that. Incidentally, if I understand correctly, the uh, name of this area in the uh, in the Japanese version was not just, you know, a mine, but the Caverns of Rastini. Uh, I don't know why they changed the name, except maybe, you know, so they could call it a mine, just so you knew ahead of time it was going to suck. But anyway, the Caverns of Rastini. I do not enjoy them. Let's see if I can avoid death. Make another save game. And hopefully I can figure out sooner or later what exactly I'm down here for. Oh boy, a boss door. Is this one going to be required to do? Apparently. Oh, it's not actually a boss door, it's a statue door. Okay. Adol stares in amazement at the, as the book he was holding suddenly floats from his hands and dissolves into the statue. He then hears a steady low voice speak to him. You are a brave soul. I'm glad you've come. These are the words of Toba. Each of us six priests has control over a specific magical wand. To reach the evil core, it will be helpful if you have these magical wands. Oh, health restoration. Thanks, Toba. Oh, repetition. He has control over a specific magical wand, etc., etc. So, uh, I believe we've then returned the book Toba. Yes, we have. So that's one book that we've returned, and, uh, five more to go. And the statue of Toba can apparently give us a health restoration if we need it. Good to know. I love that crazy musical sting that they do uh, between parts of this soundtrack, you know, that... It just strikes me cool. Okay. So where the blue hell am I? I've got the pickaxe. And where do I need to go from here? I need to not die is what I need to do. I hate door mazes. I hate them so much. Ow. Um, let's go ahead and get another restoration. This will probably take me a little while to get myself. Oh, God. This area is a disaster, I tell you what. Just like having all my money and equipment taken, that's that's the root cause of the disaster here, and I just got reamed, so let's go right back to Toba and get another health restoration. Yeah, we know. Magical wands, I'm going to need them. This is well established. That's right, I don't even have a shield yet. That's horrible. Well, at least that blue gargoyle thing seemed relatively easy to kill compared to most of the monsters down here.
And I'm actually running kind of low on time at this point. Uh, so I think I'm going to surrender shortly, get my life restored. And I'm going to head back up to the surface and, uh, you know, grind a little XP and money until I'm not quite so fragile uh, before I take another shot at the Caverns of Rastini. So not much accomplished in my uh, 100th upload, but, you know, that's how life is sometimes. And I'll see you soon with... Uh, Hopefully a little better experience and equipment, and the next part of I Played a Thing, Eastbook 1 and 2. We'll see you then.